Hey guys, welcome to Spring Bundle channel. My name is Ovo from Bangkok, Thailand. Right now, we are at Sam Yan area, which is Bangkok's shopping area, guys. We are here to try the super cheap and super famous crab curry that went viral on social media right now. The shop is called Jula 50 and it's packed with people, guys. So what are you waiting for? Let's go try the fat crab meat curry. Obviously guys, they named the restaurant after the street name which is Gulan number 50. Super easy to remember so make sure you keep that in mind. Jula 50 is right next to uh, Samyang Midtown Shopping Mall also uh, right next to a really famous Jula Longkorn University guys so I suggest the easiest way is to take MRT to uh, Samyang station and follow the map it's just only two minutes walk from the station there's a hell lot of crab meat Guys, it's a Monday today and I came around 3 p.m. in the afternoon and we waited around half an hour. So um, it's a pretty uh, popular restaurant, guys. So be aware that you will have to wait for a while, especially in uh, you know lunch or dinner hours. Keep in mind, guys, that this restaurant closes on Sunday. But the good news is it opens very early, 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. So I know some of you guys complain that nothing open in the morning here in Bangkok. You know, everything opens really late from like 10 a.m. onwards. So if you're looking for a good comforting breakfast in Bangkok, consider July 50. And here we are. Crab curry guys. Oh in Thai, this we call Kali. Alright, this dish only 120 guys. It's price in the middle of Bangkok City. Are you serious? Yeah. Alright guys, let's dig in. Alright, okay, let's do this bite. Wow, okay. Oh, it smells so nice. Mm. Wow. Guys, I love the curry. As you can see in the dish guide, this is a huge amount of eggs. There's uh, some chili oil and yellow curry powder. The curry, this is almost like a egg crumble, but a lot smoother. You don't need to shave, you just swallowed. <laughs> and it's so tasty, guys. Let's try the red chili. I can see why so many tourists love this dish guys. It's not spicy at all. So comforting. The crab meat is huge. They didn't cook the crab meat with the curry. They cooked the curry and then they put uh, crab meat on top. As you can see here, fresh crab curry together with the curry. Oh. Mm. Now let's do it with the rice, right? Okay guys, the other thing. If you like a little bit of spice, I suggest you add this seafood sauce here. I love seafood. Most Thai people love seafood sauce because we love uh, some spices in our food. So let's add that. Alright. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Mm. Mm. This is a roy. This is so a roy, guys. You know, why don't you add the um, seafood sauce with the crab? It's so much better. I mean, crab curry alone. It's already so tasty, but you adding some spice. I'm speechless. This is a scrambled egg topped with our crab joint meat. Okay, let's, let's try. I love the amount of egg they put here. <laughs> mm. It's pretty much the same. 
but uh, they just didn't put the yellow curry powder in this one. I'm not sure if I like this one or not because uh, I like spice, spicy food, like food with a lot of taste. Let's try at this. This is called uh, pig and pa, right? I put some chili, pig and pa on top. Cheers. Mm. Well, I, I think if you don't like spice at all, I think this one is pretty good. But for me, I, I'm not prefer this kind of dish because it's pretty uh, plain for me. It's just uh, like a scrambled egg topped with crab meat. All right, let's move on to our last one. This is Tom Yam Gung, guys. Everyone's favorite Thai dish. I didn't know that they have Tom Yam Gung, but the owner actually told me that uh, they have the new menu and Tom Yam Gung is one of them. So let's see what it tastes like. There's mushroom, there's uh, coriander, there's dry chili, and prawns. As you can see here, dry chili, fresh chili. Try the soup, right? Ready? <laughs> Mm. Mm. Wow, There's so many things going on here, like the usual Tom Yum soup, guys. But this version is very intense, and the coriander just hits me in the face. <laughs> so strong, I love it. Mm. Delicious. Okay, let's try the corn. Yeah. Mm. Bouncy and fresh. Wow. I'm, I'm a big fan of Tom Yum soup, so I would give this 10 out of 10. I love it, guys. To be honest, right in the middle of Bangkok, so easy to find. And it's super cheap. Everything's so good. The pack is fresh. The price is cheap. Good food, good price. It's just perfect. There's just so many people and also grab delivery. You can see behind me. This place is seriously famous, guys. All right, guys. Uh, so you are the owner of the restaurant. Yes. Yes. What's your name? Uh, my name is Ken. Ah, uh, how long have you been open this restaurant for? Almost two years. Almost two years, and you are doing very well, uh, yes, right? Thank you. And then you just opened another section, right? This um. Yeah. We uh, we expand new building. On new buildings. Ah, uh, for how long now? For almost um, a month. Four months. Four months. The the second one. The second yeah, one you opened almost months, four. Uh, three months. Three months. All right. So you also have English menu for um, for your. Oh, coming soon. Coming soon. Coming soon. Yeah. Oh, so he doesn't have the English menu yet, guy, but uh, he speaks very well English. So if you want to ask yes. the, for a suggestion, for yes. like, you know, you can ask him, please. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay, so it's nice to see you in person. Yeah, thank, you. thank you for coming. Thank you. Yay! Guys, I never expect a hidden gem located in a small alleyway like this and it's right in the middle of Bangkok. It's so easy to come, guys. You can use MRT to Samyang Station or Tuk Tuk. Delicious is what I can say in this video. Very good food, good taste and good price. We paid only 360 baht for the huge portion of three dishes, guys. Definitely coming back here again. If you're looking for a real authentic Thai street food in Bangkok, guys, Put July 50 on your list and I will see you in the next one. Bye!